What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I used my voice to make a super weird instrument. Let's get into it. Um, before I delve into the actual um, vocal I want to show you, uh, I just want to play you a little portion of the actual project so you can hear it in context. Hold on to me Let me see you Hold on, Hold to, me. on to me Let me see Let you me see On the riverside When the mountains hide Hold on to me Let me see you That is the start of the project, I'd say. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna put the volume up for the actual thing we're gonna be looking at. But this is the sound, I'm gonna solo it. So weird thing, <laughs> that was once my voice. And I'm just gonna turn off all the processing um, and show you the original original vocal uh, uh, okay there is some reverb on that running through the send channels um, but yeah so it was originally my voice and then I pushed it up an octave um, I used the complex pro feature and I played around with uh, the formants in the envelope and I got this really interesting sound from my original vocal So you can still uh, hear it's a vocal, but it just sounds super weird. I uh, put some auto-tune on it, like all the way. Um, and that is because I want it to sound literally like an instrument, like it's tuned to a very specific note. Uh, and then obviously I just put it in the key. This is a free um, auto-tune plugin, highly recommend it. Yeah. Uh, then I put some overdrive on it and I'll show you what it sounds like with and without the overdrive. So the overdrive just gives it like a crispiness um, and an edge. Uh, makes it sound more like an instrument than a normal vocal because we want to give it a little bit of a roughness, but not too much that we completely kill the sound. I've got like a tremolo effect uh, running over it and that gives it like a rhythmic element and it's quite cool. So without the tremolo, but when I put the tremolo on, uh, and I think it was just a preset that I played around with. Uh, this is what it would sound like. Uh, so that gives it like a whole different rhythm. And then obviously you can play around with however you would want to, um, the rhythm to feel. I mean, you can make it eighth notes, for example, or 30 second notes. This is going to be much quicker now. Making some trance here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I liked 16th, I liked the groove it gave. And I definitely wanted something weird for this piece that I'm writing because it's got quite a mysterious vibe to it. Then uh, this is just some basic echo um, to give it like airiness. Uh, if you wear headphones, it starts to sound cool now. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, some EQ, I've cut out the low end. Uh, as I said, I wanted to sound like an instrument. Um, and my voice naturally is quite low with the vocals that are already recorded so i don't want any clashing there and then i boosted it in the highs and added a delay once again in context this is what it would sound like hold on to me, hold on to me. let me see you on the riverside when the mountains hide And that is it for today's video. I really hope you learned something from that. And for the musicians that are out there who are watching this, I hope that you can take something and apply it to your own work. Until next time.